Good morning, fourth grade. It is Mr. Amano here, 4B co-teacher for Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. I'm coming at you with Positivity Project. It is our new character strength of the week, purpose and connection. Let us begin. So, connection or purpose. You have beliefs about the meaning of life and your life's purpose. You seek to be a part of something greater than yourself. If anyone has ever played on a sports team or dance or any sort of team that involved you working well with other people, the goal almost always, right, is to be part of something that is greater than the individual. And that's the beauty of sports. That's the beauty of playing on a team. It's the beauty of finding that connection and purpose because it can drive you and it can motivate you. The purpose of human life is to serve and to show compassion and the will to help others. We will not be successful unless we are able to show compassion, right? And us as humans, we have the ability to just open up our hearts and show compassion to others, to animals, to anything that we deem fit. Okay. Nice little video for you guys. If you don't know why you're here, I encourage you to find out what your purpose is here. What is the meaning of your life? What will be different? Have you ever asked yourself that question? And most people, they go to their graves with their greatness still in them. What if you live your whole life only to discover that it was wrong. We've all taken time just to stop and reflect many times when we hear what's happening in the news or read the newspapers. Where's all of this leading to? What's going on here? And so I think that now more than ever, we must begin to look at what are the things that we can do that would Put us on some firm footing in life that will enable us to do some things and, and use some powers that we have that many of us go through life never ever discovering that we have those things going for us. And part of that, I believe, is knowing what it is your life worth. What is it that gives your life a sense of meaning and purpose? See, if you know what your life work is, I encourage you to start working on it. If you can't do it all at one time, do just a little bit of it. And if you don't know what it is that you showed up to do, if you don't know why you're here, I encourage you to find out what your purpose is here. What is the meaning of your life? Because once you find that, it puts you in your power place. 85% of the American public, according to recent studies, are going to jobs that they hate, working on jobs that do not challenge them. They get sick thinking about going. Because see, when you go to a job and, and you already know how far you can go, you can already see that proverbial glass ceiling. See, when you're going someplace and you already know how much you're going to make, you already know how far you can go, you're in a dead-end position. It erodes your self-esteem. It lowers your sense of yourself. It creates an inner turmoil. It creates an emptiness in you. So I say that your life is worth finding what it is that you're supposed to do. Imagine, if you will, being on your deathbed and standing around your bed, the ghost of the dreams, the ideas, the abilities, the talents given to you by life, but you, for whatever reason, you never pursued those dreams. 
You never acted on those ideas. You never used those gifts. You never used those talents. And there they are staring at you as you're lying on your bed with large angry eyes saying, we came to you. Only you could have given us life. And now we must die with you forever. And the question is, if you die today, what dreams, what talents, what abilities, what gifts, what ideas would die with you? Amazing video right there. So I do have some questions for you guys. What do you think your life's work will be? How can you start working on it now? How can you find your purpose if you don't know? To what dreams, talents, ideas, abilities, and gifts should you give life? As always, you guys know, you can start, stop, rewatch these videos right on Google Classroom, also on YouTube. I love and miss you. I cannot wait to see you guys back in the classroom. Bye.